down to South Beach, a lot of people are image and body conscious. So I've seen a lot of, aesthetically speaking, physically attractive people, males and females, attractive cars, you know, people had on a, a nice outfits. There was a large segment of the population that were there to let you see what they got, you know, and sometimes people can be external like that. And I don't think that there's nothing uh, essentially wrong with, you know, displaying who you are and everything. But I think that when you become too externalized to the point where you forget to invest in what is going on inside, then you just become a shell. And I don't think that that is positive. But anyway, I've been other places and I've seen other people function in an external way like that as well. And, you know, the funny thing about it is <laughs> it's like nothing in comparison to down here in Miami, you know. It's like if you got a little C-class Benz and you think you're doing something somewhere else, come down here, you're going to get your feelings hurt. You're going to see 18-year-olds driving shit like that. Or you're going to see just Maseratis everywhere. Lamborghinis and Bugattis and Ferraris. And, you know, even if you pride yourself on looking a certain way physically, you're going to come down here and get your feelings hurt if you're external like that. But at the same time, if you get inspired by seeing things like this and you're more materialistically orientated and object orientated, where it's like, you know, I, I take pride in seeing you know, attractive men and attractive women and nice cars because it, it it fuels me with ambition for me to be able to get on that kind of level. If that is the way you think, then you can come down here and get inspired. But if you're the type of person and you think that you are that, <laughs> you come down here and you're going to get your spirits broke. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I wanted to share about too. Yeah, and I don't think that was an alligator. Nope.